Okay. Tech rabbit here. So I um, actually um, purchased the Power Over Ethernet um, hat for uh, Raspberry Pi. regulation <laughs> that's not the simplest thing and then the probably the standoffs are for putting on onto those four corners to give it extra support so anyway here's the raspberry pi so it's just then um, we don't need the usb anymore that's the hdmi cable the Ethernet cable that already has power over Ethernet on it. So anyway, I'll do some work and um, put those on. This might be a bit fiddly. Anyway, this goes on. Oh, it just fits on there, so it's like on that long connector and then this four pin full power. And it has the equivalent on the bottom side of the cart. I'll just work on getting that into place. Okay, now we have the um, hand installed. <laughs> Massive piece of electronic. And then you can feed direct DC into here. So if you don't want to do it through the um, power of Ethernet, then you can just have a look. DC source, a couple of hours. Okay, let's plug some stuff in, except for the USB, so we won't plug that in. So we should only need to put the um, HDMI and then, theoretically speaking, the network cable. And then we should get some some power. Yeah, seems to be booting. I wonder if I can move the camera just to show. Maybe get a bit of the screen into the ah, see the screen's over. Over here. to be booting okay up boot it up okay Bigger picture that's very easy to understand that's the raspberry pi booted up so anyway now i can take away uh, the usb power supply let's cable this is not a very valid use case because I mean as you see I have an outlet here and I have a power supply but um, what, what now can happen is that anywhere where I have you know, Ethernet cabling from uh, power or Ethernet switch then I can just position it wherever I feel like I need it and um, this lab is going to be expanded over time so the um, 
I might actually put that Raspberry Pi somewhere. And then, then of course, running headless because now it's connected to TV. But um, in, um, being, I will be in the future doing experiments where I'll just have headless servers um, running uh, Raspberry Pis. So anyway, so that was that. Um, if you thought that interesting, um, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of new videos. There will be more content coming on this theme and others. And um, I'll see you in the next one.